Hi, welcome to Mom's Pump here. Hashtag the pink life. I'm Priya. I'm Sue. And today's topic is being separated from your baby Ooh. and the anxiety they get. Yeah, and the anxiety moms get too. Oh yeah, that's right. You know, so you were telling me before that your your the Troy yeah would go crazy at, at three months because you guys used to move. Well, okay, from the bassinet. You know, the bassinet was always next to my bed. Yeah. So when he woke up every morning, first thing he saw was, Mommy. Ma mommy. When we moved him from the bassinet into a crib mm -hmm. in his own room, we just had such a hard time. He you would cry a lot. He would cry, cry, cry to the point. Now we're, you know, this is our first one. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're just learning as we go, mm -hmm. you know. You know, and everybody kind of gave us our their advice. I'll just let him cry it out, you know. I don't believe in crying out. I don't know. I, With I, Troy, I couldn't cry, let him cry out because literally he was turning bright red. He was mm -hmm. going, like, you know, it, to, the crying looked more like a painful cry. Yeah. Like he was in pain. My second one, no problem. Really? Yeah, no problem. Well, Ty Tyler's special. Like, yeah, Tyler he, was, he was totally mine, yes. He's very calm and peaceful. Yeah. He likes his own, like even t to this point now, like he likes his privacy. He likes his alone time. Mm -hmm. He's okay with, you know, being by himself. Mm -hmm. You know, he's okay, you know, whereas Troy likes to be around people. And you screwed up Troy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all my fault. But like even like, you know, whether it's a baby or even like, you know, when you're dropping off your child the first day of school, yeah. that happens a lot too. Like, so we have, I, I remember the first couple with both Jaden and Ava, I experienced this like, I had to like talk to the director of the school and the teacher so much just to reassure myself. And yeah. with Jaden, I would call the school and see how he was doing. Yeah. I would like do check-ins, like random check-ins, yeah. <laughs> like arrive at the school yeah. like, hey. <laughs> we would walk to school and I, you know, my heart actually broke for, this mom, mm -hmm. um, even for, I want to even say like, even six months after school started, I was walking, you know, I'm not that far from the elementary school. Mm -hmm. As I'm walking home, I still would hear that this child screaming and there would be two teachers, you know, not dragging him in, but like coaxing him into the building and the yeah. mom had to walk away. Like my heart like broke because like that, Aww. like this, the, the, you, I literally heard the, the crying and the screaming all the way to my front doorstep. Aww. And I was, you know, a good like, you know, five minute walk from the school. So I just like, I'm sure you, you were like tempted to stop her. I was just like, <laughs> it's gonna be like, I felt so like, like, like I felt so bad for the, for the Aww. child because I'm like, Oh, like, you know, school's supposed to be a fun. Yeah. But you know, in the beginning of the school yeah, year, it's hard. It wasn't the beginning of the school year. Oh yeah. It was like six months later. Separation anxiety from going to daycare, but did, did Tyler ever have separation? No, did Troy ever have separation anxiety after Tyler was born? Like when uh, they have a sibling? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, <clears throat> so I had Ava and I even have this on camera. Yeah. So when I got married, yeah, I did everything backwards. So Ava, somebody was holding Ava and Jaden. Yeah. And Jaden like smacked Ava. Oh. Because she, she was a baby. Yeah. So you, you're feeling that jealousy early oh, on. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, Ty, so, Troy definitely. When we brought home Tyler from the first day, mm -hmm. for, uh, you know, from the hospital, and we had the, you know, the, the swing that goes by him, so we had him in the swing. Yeah. And, you know, um, Troy at that point was 13 months. He was already walking because he walked early. Mm -hmm. So he, and he was like, so he, you know, he walked up to his little brother, and I'm like, oh, that's <laughs> so sweet. Like he wants to bond with him. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden, Tyler let out this screaming cry and I'm like what the heck he was pinching him no he bit his toe <gasps> <laughs> yeah and I was like I'm like oh I'm like we got to I'm like oh yeah, my we God. got I, that, that was, was just, a, that, that's when he just came home that was the first day from the <gasps> hospital and I'm oh. like oh my god like, he identified it right away yeah this is competition <laughs> must take him out <laughs> well I'm, yeah. I'm would try to include him with whatever I was doing. Like mm -hmm. if I said like, you know, oh, do you want to help me feed the baby? Or, you know, you want to help me change the baby? Let's get the diaper and just like, yeah. you know, with girls, I know it's easier. A lot of moms will say like, you know, I, when we brought home the baby, we gave 
them their own baby, mm -hmm. you know, and then at the same, like when I'm changing the baby, they're changing their baby. When mm -hmm. I'm feeding the baby, they're feeding their that's baby. That's a great tip, by the way. You know? Yeah, getting, getting, getting a doll for your yeah. older sister. But just let them know that that's theirs and they can't pick up the real one. <laughs> the real yeah, baby. it happens. <laughs> a couple things that moms can do to help your kids when they have anxiety from separation is one thing is a common tip is you give them a, an item, a comfort item the, ba the kids could take with them. So if you're dropping off a daycare, they have a blankie they can use during nap time. Yeah. Um, or a teddy bear. Yeah, a stuffed animal. Stuffed animal. I have uh, several of those blankets still. Yeah. I have this one blue blanket that had um, a teddy bear on it. Jaden used it, Ava used it, and Liam used it. And Liam, all three of them were attached to that blanket yeah. for quite a while. Wow. And it has like rips in it now. And I still have it. I like refuse to throw it out. But that was the one item they all loved. Another great tip is to leave your, when you're ready to leave, make sure your child has taken a nap first. So you're not leaving while your child is, is sleeping. Okay. Because you don't want them to wake up and be like, oh my God, where's mom? Yeah, She's I think gone. a lot of parents kind of do that, thinking like, oh, it's great if they, they're, they're sleeping, sleeping and, and they I, can I get sleep. away. Yeah. But if you think about it, it's sort of like your own selfishness because you don't want to deal with the crying or yeah. you don't want to face the fact yeah. that. Yeah. You ever have it happen like, it, I know it's a little bit, but yeah. it's like the same concept. Like sometimes like I, I would fall asleep on the sofa uh -huh. and then it's like pitch black in the room. And then all of a sudden you wake up and you're like, where the hell am I? <laughs> yeah, it's almost like this thing like, you exactly. know, they're looking, you know, they're like, where's mom? And they don't see mom. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh my God, what happened to my mom? Yeah. You know, it's the same, it's the same thing. They yeah. freak out and then they get, you know, every time you're, they take a nap, they think that you're going to leave. So yeah. they don't want to take a nap and yeah. it's just double the stress because they're not napping. Yeah. Make sure your child has eaten before you leave. Okay. So if they're, they're, there's nothing like making them upset. Yeah. So they have food in their belly. They're, they're content. They're content. So you yeah. want your child to be content. Yeah. Same thing with the napping. You, you want them to be content before you leave. So this way there's no fighting or yeah. like fussing. If you're, if you're planning to take your child to daycare eventually, or you know, you're going back to work, um, and you think the baby's gonna have high anxiety, do test runs. So, you so a test run is when you leave the child in the room and you go do something else in the other room. Mm -hmm. So if the baby's sitting there, but you're in the other room reassuring your baby. So you'll scream out like, hey, Troy, I'm still here, baby. Or you'll be singing and they can hear your voice so they know that you're still around. Don't forget to download the Moms Pump Parent Nursery Locator app. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye. Bye. If you like this video, click here to subscribe. If you wanna watch more videos like this, click here. And if you would like to download the Mom's Pump Here Nursing Locator app, click up here.